If I was going to kill somebody, this is exactly how I would do it, with cleaning supplies. Look, Mr. Mike, it couldn't have been you. Relax. These aren't your brands. You buy the good stuff. These are the cheap store brands. That's true. <sighs> That's true. Danko. Who? You saved your Danko. The other patient. We saw him at the supermarket, remember? He was buying cleaning supplies. The exact same bottles. Harold said that he quit group therapy about a month before Barbara O'Keefe was murdered. Danko must have revealed something in therapy, something big, something worth killing for. Uh, Nat Natalie, what you do? Oh, God, come on, let's get you some fresh air. Come on, come on. This way, go. Oh. 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 No use. I've been banging on it for an hour. I still think it was you. Touching me. No, you're touching I'm me. I'm not touching you. You're touching me. Just stay on your side. I'm not, I don't have a side. Just back up four or five millimeters. Okay, that's your side. Now, this is my side. From that end of the spare tire to the jumper cables. Uh, stay over there and we'll be fine. <laughs> my side's carpeted. My side's quieter. It's impossible. Your side has the muffler, so my side is quieter. Oh, grow up! You grow up. Feel like it. Captain Stollemeyer, please. I gotta get out of here. I can't stand it. The ceiling is crushing me. Oh. I feel it closing in. Help. It's like I'm being buried alive. Help. I can't. Help. 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 You're making it very hard for me to panic. Help. Just calm Help. down, please. <sighs> Thought you were cured. What about your technique? Uh, Visualization with the door and the key and all that. Oh, that doesn't work. Never worked. I was trying to impress Dr. B. Why do I do that? Why do I, why do I care what people think? What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. The truth is, I actually admire you. Stop it. No, no, I mean it. Don't. I mean it. Look, we're, we're basically the same guy. We have the same kinds of problems, the same issues. But you, you, you're out there. You're 
in the world. You have a family. You have a real job. You don't let it stop you. That's nice of you to say. Hey, look at me. You know, look, look at me. Look, look, look at me. Hey. I think we've been looking at this the wrong way. This trunk, you know, these, these walls, they're not, they're not closing in on us. They're not? No. They're, they're protecting us, really. Protecting us? Ah, they're keeping the bad stuff out. Protecting us? Yeah. Protecting us from germs and snakes and harmonicas. And nature. And my mother and her, her new boyfriend. And Xavier Danko. And Xavier Danko. Yeah, that's right. This trunk is our friend. Wow, I know. <laughs> I've been in therapy for 10 years. I think this is the first real breakthrough I've ever had. This group therapy thing really works. Really does. I wish Dr. B could see us. He wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Still. Oh, no. What? That's Nevin's house. How do you know? He had a cocktail party last summer. And he invited you? I didn't say that. OK, we, we have to find a phone. Gotta call the police. It's not enough time. It, it takes the police four minutes and 20 seconds to get here. Don't ask. Be careful, he's got a gun. Listen, Adrian, if anything happens to me. Nothing's gonna happen to you, I won't let him. Ready? Let's do it. Ooh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, there you are. I was about to come and get you. The police will be here soon. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Xavier was just telling me how he killed Tiffany Bolt. The woman he was following? Yeah, that's right. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.